Hi, my name is Bohadar Ahmedov. Welcome to the course of Probability and Statistics. In this video, we are going to solve a problem on the combinatorial analysis by using the uh, uh, by using the counting uh, principle rule and by using the permutation rule. So the counting principle, so the general counting principle. It basically tells us that if one event can happen in k different ways, and if the another one can happen in p different ways, then together they can have uh, k times p different ways. And the permutation rule basically tells us that if you have n distinct objects, the number of the rearrangements of number of the different rearrangements of this n objects is going to be equal to the n factorials. So we've got this problem which basically tells us that we have four math books, six physics books, and two chemistry books, and we need to rearrange them, where all the um, uh, books from one subject should stand together. So we are going to split this problem into the two different levels, into the levels of the books, rearrangements of the books, and also rearrangements of the blocks. So let us create the three blocks. So we are going to have one block with the four mass books. So we are going to have another block with the six different physics books. And we are going to have the third block with the two different chemistry books. Two different chemistry books. So the number of the rearrangements of these four mass books, different mass books, is going to be equal to the four factorials, according to the permutation rule. And the number of the rearrangements of these two chemistry books is going to be equal to the two factorials. So let me explain to you what does it mean, this two factorial. So you have two books of chemistry one and chemistry two, right? And you can arrange them like this, or you can put them as a chemistry true and chemistry one. So that is why you have like two factorial cases of the rearrangements of, or the simply two rearrangements. And if you have six physics books, the number of the rearrangements of the six books is equal to the six factorials. So then the number of the rearrangements in this order and in, in one row is going to be the multiplication of the four factorials to the six factorials to the two factorials so let's do the calculations here it's four factorials is equal to the 24 times six factorials is equal to the 720 and the two factorials is equal to the two so if we calculate this it's going to be equal to 34,560 so this is kind of the inner level. If uh, in your book shelf, the math books coming first, then the physics books are coming, then the chemistry books are always coming, then you're going to have 34,560 different um, rearrangements of this book. Now we need to look to this from the outer perspective. Basically, I would like to just move the blocks. So for example, I would like to put the math books just after the physics books where the physics books are just after the chemistry books. So now we need to look to this from the perspective of the blocks. So you have the white blocks of the math books, you have the yellow block of the physics books, and you have the pink block with the chemistry books, right? So you basically have three blocks. How many rearrangements are possible? So again, we need to use the permutation rule. If you have three different items, the number of the rearrangements of the three different items is going to be equal to the three factorial. So there are six different rearrangements. So I would like to give you a couple of uh, rearrangements. For example, you can put white, yellow, pink, or you can also put the white, pink, yellow. You can put the pink, white, yellow, or pink, uh, yellow, white. You can put the uh, yellow, white, pink, or yellow, pink, white. So there are six different rearrangements of the three blocks. So for every rearrangement of the blocks, you have 34,560 cases of the rearrangements of the book. So that is why the number of the rearrangements in total is going to be six times 34,560. So let me multiply this. It's going to be equal to the 270 
1360 rearrangements. So this is the solution for this problem. We are going to solve uh, another problem, which is going to be very much similar to this one. So again, four different math books, six different physics books, and two different chemistry books. Um, we need to find the number of the rearrangements uh, where the mass books must stand together only. So we don't. Uh, so it is not necessary to make a blocks for the chemistry books or to the physics books. Only we need to have the uh, block for the mass books. So in, in this case, I would make the two blocks basically one block with only four mass books and another block with all the other books. So how many all the other books we have? We have six physics books and two chemistry books, basically eight others, right? So eight other books. So now what we need to do is if we put always the math books first, then all the other books, how many rearrangements we have? So basically, in this case, like inner arrangements, right? Inner arrangements. So the four math books are going to be arranged in four factorial different uh, ways and the eight other books are going to be arranged in the eight factorial cases. So the number of the rearrangements of all the books in this one row were always the block of the mass books are coming first and all the others are coming to the next. It's going to be the multiplication of the eight factorials to the four factorials. So let me write this down. So 24 times so eight factorials is going to be 40,310. If you multiply this to the 24, it's going to be 967, 680. So now we need to look to this from the outer perspective. What does it mean? It means that you have eight books. Say so one book, seven, uh, second, third, and so on. Eight different books. So you can put this block of the math books to the beginning, say so one block of the max books to here. But at the same time, you can put this block with the max books to here, or to here after the second book, or after the third book, basically three other books, then the block of the math book, and then other five books. Or to here, or to here. So since you have like one, two, three, and so on, eight different books, then the number of the positions to put the uh, block of the math books is going to be equal to the nine. So nine different positions for putting the block of the math books. For every position of the blocks of the math books between the uh, um, between uh, between the, uh, the between this uh, eight books is going to be equal to uh, is going to have nine hundred sixty seven thousand six hundred eighty. Uh, possible rearrangements, right? So do you remember, so if you have like a, if you put in one row four mass books and then eight other books, you have 967,680 rearrangements. But now you can just change the positions of the blocks. You have different, nine different positions for the blocks. And for every, you're going to have 967,680 rearrangements. So if you just multiply this as in nine, it's going to be equal to, sorry, so 967, 680 times 9. It's going to be equal to the 870,000, uh, or sorry, it's going to be 80 million. 8 million, 720 possible rearrangements. So if all the math books should stand together, then you are going to have uh, almost 9 million cases of the rearrangements. So that's it.